slobber Look at that around. slobbery <laughs> tongue and mouth. Oh my God. It's a big heifer. She is a big lady. So I've got a couple other animal friends if you would like to meet him. Yeah. How about we, do you want to meet Maggie over here? Our oh, Holstein? Of course. Let's go check All right, out. awesome. Let's go see her. Okay. So, oh my God, this <laughs> giant cow. Yes. What is going on here? She is a big lady. So this is Maggie. Her Maggie. full name is Magnolia. Oh. Um, she is just shy of five years old. Oh, she's beautiful. And she is a little over 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds. Yes. So she is a very large cow, and I can give you some treats if you want oh, to feed her. Awesome. She's got a lot of slobber Look at that around. slobbery <laughs> tongue and mouth. Oh my God. It's a big heifer. So wait, heifer? Is it, are they heifers? Yes. So technically we call, even though everyone refers to them as cows, they're actually cattle. And that's because they don't actually become cows until they've had a calf. Oh. So one thing a lot of times when people visit is they actually think that they're males because uh, you can't see their udders very well. You can okay. see them a little bit better on Maggie because of her height, um, but all of their udders are still there as normal. They're just tucked in really high because they haven't had calves. Um, and then Willow over here is a little tucked away. She's a little bit more shy when this monster's around. Um, yeah, she's big, <laughs> yes. so I can see why. So Willow is about 1,800 pounds and she is soon to be four years old. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, there's a big difference between them. So Maggie here is our whole scene. So she's your type of dairy cow. Mm -hmm. um, and then Willow is what we call a pole Hereford. So she's a beef cow. So it's nice to be able to have both on exhibit here to be able to kind of talk about what both types of cattle offer um, in terms of farming them and things like that. Um, as you can see, Maggie is a big ham, loves attention. Mm -hmm. um, we kind of- she, she's, she's a big ham? Yes. N not, not a big beef? Not a big beef, I know. Although, you know, they were all laying down earlier. So when Willow was laying down, he had some ground beef there. Ah. So, ah. <laughs> you know, you guys, I'm a, I'm a huge Disney nerd. So if she worked at Disneyland, she would work at the in the Jungle Cruise ride. So my thought as a kid, these cows made white milk, the you know the milk, the normal regular milk, and they made chocolate milk. Is that <laughs> true? I, I wish it was, but unfortunately it's not. But a lot of our younger audiences love talking about that. And we like asking them, especially when we've had other cows in the past that were a little bit of a less darker red than Willow, we'd say, oh, she's actually the strawberry milk cow. So ah, the kids love that. Ah, so. <laughs> ah, she's right there with it. I got it. Well, now these are absolutely beautiful individuals. I, I love them. And I see that you, she has a lot of personality. She does. And she, she's definitely, controls this yard i bet yes so so, you, so what does that mean like what, what's what's going on with her and her personality and what does that mean to you so maggie is um we kind of joke with a uh, guess that she's kind of the great dane of the cow yard uh so she's humongous but she's a big goofy gal yeah. um so they are really interactive with enrichment so a lot of the stuff that they have out here has brushes on it um it's heavy barrels with sand in it because they love knocking stick piles over knocking toys over um, they do get what we call the uh, cow zoomies very frequently. Um, so especially on days where the grass is getting cut or on days where it's a little chillier or if there's snow, especially if there's snow, they chase each other around the yard. That's, those are the moments that the alpacas generally just duck for cover and just kind of stay clear of the, of the yeah, cow of area. The cow. Um, but they are very interactive with each other. So they're very social animals. Um, you will see them doing social grooming a lot. So a lot of times, especially in the early morning when they're first coming out, um, Willow and Maggie will take turns grooming each other. With Maggie, she's pretty dominant. Um, so when we do training sessions, so when we use the chute that's behind me here, to, we train them to voluntarily enter, enter the chute. We train them to do a backup behavior when they're on the scale. Uh, Maggie knows open mouth behaviors. The shoot, what is mm -hmm. the shoot for? So that's a great question. Um, so the shoot is used for a lot of different things. Um, so we have all kinds of different doors on it. Um, it looks kind of almost like a crazy Rubik's cube uh, contraption, but it's really important for our cows. So we have a bunch of different doors that we can access where they, we can close around their head so that their head is safely restrained. So when we have vet exams, um, if they need blood drawn or anything like that, it's crucial for us to be able to get them into the chute. Um, and because you know we are animal keepers, we like to do a lot of stuff voluntarily. Mm -hmm. um, so we work on a lot of a po positive association in the chute. So whenever Maggie and Willow have training sessions, it's a lot of different treats, a lot of different pro uh, positive praise for them going in there, but all the panels on the sides of the chute open up so we can access their hooves, we can touch their sides, um, we can access their tail. Mm -hmm. um, 
We've been able to do x-rays in the chute, which has been really helpful for some of our older cows in the past. Um, and the chute keeps everybody, uh, in terms of our animals, safe. It also keeps our vet team safe. Mm -hmm. um, so we can easily look at stuff, make sure that the cows are nice and healthy, and it keeps everybody nice and comfortable at the same time. Awesome. Okay. Well, Maggie has been awesome. <laughs> She's been absolutely adorable. And and little friend over there, you've been great too. We, we know, love you as you well. I like know. Come over, you little don't, nervous. Don't forget, we love you too. But I get Maggie <laughs> is the cow to be reckoned with. Excuse me, cattle. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's next? <laughs> All right. So how about we head over and we meet some of our donkeys? Awesome. Let's go do that. I'm sorry right. if I offended you. I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I,